uh, people around us is, is uh, being bombed and fought. Yes, yes. All kinds of things are happening over in Israel and Gaza. And here we are just waking up. We don't have nothing to worry about as of right now. Lord have mercy. I want you all to pay attention to what's going on around you. And make sure you let God know how much you appreciate him yes, for what he is doing right now. Amen. Amen. Right this now. is a, a very important day to me. I thought that we'd be home, have more children here. But how many know that you know, I teach the adults too? Amen. 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 Because it's something right. that we all need to be made aware of. Yes. And uh, I, I, I'm going to teach it as if it's 100 children in here. All right. Amen. 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 Uh, let us bow for a word of prayer. Gracious Father, Lord, we come now in the wonderful and precious name of wonderful Jesus. Lord, we thank you for your amazing thank grace. You, we thank you for your mercy. Mm -hmm. We thank you, Lord, for traveling grace. Lord, we yes. thank you, Lord, uh, for helping us, Lord, to make it into your house. Yes. Lord, you said, let us come with thanksgiving in our hearts. And Lord, I am thankful today for what you have done for me yes. all day today. Yes. And now, Lord, we ask for the power of your spirit. Lord, to be in this house on today. Yes. Touch me with your spirit, Lord, that I may teach these your people. Yes. Lord, that they may learn to do better. Yes. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Yes. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 Don't be in the hands of our choir. I don't know what's going on. Y'all sure seem to have dead this morning. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't my fault. Come on, baby. It ain't my fault. You know, I ain't done nothing. Y'all just saw me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, uh, he said, enter this gate with thanksgiving. So, I mean, you came in the gate. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Man. We need to be talking and praying. Glad about what God has done and what He's doing right now. Amen. Amen. Be in the hands of the, uh, the, the choir, the praise team, the, the drummers, the, the musicians. And we just gonna have a good time with or without you. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Come on. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. While I wait on my kiddos, we're just gonna open up with a congregation song. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on. All right, so this is what? Congregation for this space time.
kids and thanking the Lord for them, but they have a first special birthday today, and this one had a wonderful birthday on Friday. So if you sit here and you can't move, did you see what they did? Yeah. Hey. They both did that, so we are so happy to have them on this. Being able to celebrate another year God has allowed. Father, I ask that you please forgive us for our sins. Oh Lord, I thank you for this Sunday, oh God, and I just pray and ask that this Sunday be what you want it to be. Yes, Lord. I pray that we are able to praise and worship your name how yes. how this worship service is supposed to be, oh God. Yes. And those that are on the way, oh God, I just ask that you give them safe travel and grace. Yes, In Lord. Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. amen.
Yes, Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank God for the children.
Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Thank you, God, the security God. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. This is a day. Yes, sir. That the Lord has made. We need to rejoice and uh, be glad. And, and I did talk to Barn. You had to tell me nothing yet about last week. I found out what Barn was. I know where she at now. Amen. Amen. Uh, hello, hello, lights. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, hey, hey I, I want you all to get involved in the service. Because what your children see you doing, they're going to do the same thing. Right. Or, or worse, man, you know what I'm saying? Every action you take, your children are looking, like Elder John said, they're looking and they're booking. Amen. They're writing it down. Amen. Amen. Yes, well, today sir. is going to be a very different sermon on today. I got papers up here and my wife got something for you to give, uh, for you to have in your hand. Because I want you to take this home. I want you to be able to look at it and, 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 and pattern your life after what I yes, am sir. going to say on today. I'm saying it because I've been through it. Amen. I've been through it. I've been through it. And uh, uh, some of it ain't been good. Some of it ain't been good. But I thank God for reaching down and grabbing me. Yes, sir. Picking yes, me sir. up and turning me around. Yes, placing sir. me on a solid ground. Solid Amen. ground. Amen. Amen. Now, uh, we're going to be back in the hands of these wonderful children. And let them come. Uh, we're going we're gonna to get it. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. We're going to let them come and. Sang another song. Amen. Or however ever got it set up, we're going to let them do that. Amen. Amen. Amen.
take that picture, man. They don't love the church, man. They love the church, man. Uh, and I love them too. I love them too. Uh, I, I, I want them to be successful. I want them to do, uh, to do uh, good. Amen. I want to do. We have a couple of children here today to come help me pass out these these forms. I need one on each side. And while they're doing that, we're gonna get our tithes and our offering. That go one brother. That go one brother coming. Do I have one more on this side? Yeah. Amen. 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 Uh, this is a youth Sunday, but it's it, 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 it don't help to adults too.
calendar. What's wrong? So we are fundraiser. You got that? You know the difference between the two? Yeah. Yeah. One is fundraising and one is about individual obligation. There you go. Am I making myself clear? So now come on now, praise the Lord. We got this out of here. What year is this? Thirty seven years. Thirty seven years and we still standing. Well some churches have already felt fall have fallen off because of COVID. But we remain strong. We remain strong and steadfast. So let's don't forget to give. Yeah, to right. that offering. Amen? Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor. You Everyone, please stand, face the wall, and come around from the rear. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Oh, my. <laughs> Because once they get up in age, you can't tell them nothing. 
You need to go to work with them right now. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and guess what I want to talk about? Just three little words. How can a young man keep his way pure by keeping it according to your word? And guess what I got what I'm talking about today? You need to. That's it. You need to. And I'm going to tell you 26 things that you need to do. And I thought it, you know, and I thought about it. I said, I just used the alphabet. Okay. From A to Z. All right. I told you it was a different sermon. How y'all like the way I typed all this stuff up? You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. y'all see how I did all this on the paper, put the lines on it and all that. Yeah. Now y'all know I ain't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I showed I sent it to my wife. You know what she said? Oh, yeah, that's good, but oh, let me work with it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Man. That's why you see what you see, these lines and all that yeah. kind of stuff. And, <laughs> Oh, uh, we got pencils, I mean, and, and, uh, pens. Oh, uh, she did all of that. And I'm going to know it's just good to have a helpmate that will do things that help you out. Amen. So I thank God for her. Verse number 19 says, how can a young man keep his way pure? Yes, By keeping it according to your word. And Lord, we thank you, Lord. Number one thing, and you know what you need to do? You need to admit. Now, to re to remember, I'm talking to children. As well as adults. You need to admit when you get accused of something, and if you didn't, admit to it. Yes, sir. Huh? Can I tell somebody something? You know what I'm saying? But look, I ain't, I ain't ashamed. You know why? When I went when I went before, his name was Judge Wallace Seymour. He was a judge. His name was Wallace Seymour. Art probably know him. You know what I'm saying? Art Wallace Seymour. Shake his head. Why it seem more? You know, but you know, when I was in my cell, you know, I, I said, please, I said, I was asking Lord, please, Lord, touch why it seem more. And I made it rhyme. Uh, uh, because if you let me go, I ain't gonna do it no more. Come on, help me out. <laughs> I mean to you know that you know what I'm saying. I ain't always live right. Yeah. And, if, and if you don't train these children up now, yeah. they'll make the same mistake that I made. Amen. And they give a whole bunch of time now for a thing that you know, they give a whole bunch of time. You ain't gonna even, you know, you can't, you know, I, I, we don't even want to talk about that because we are gonna help these children stay out of TDC. You know what TDC stands for, don't you? The Texas Department of Corrections. Come on, help me if you can. Uh, don't raise your hand, but you know what I'm saying? But, but sometimes God said I'm like, He loved us enough to send us somewhere that we can still keep our life. So the first thing I need you to do is that you need to admit. Because I admit it to what I did. Yes. I got a light of sinners. Yes. How many know that aggravated robbery, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. With an attempt to kill. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you ain't gonna get no five years for that. Mm -hmm. Uh-uh, no, you don't get no. That man they gave me five years, man, you know what I'm saying? And then I was in there three years and got out for two years on parole. What you say? Had to pay 10 $20 a day. I mean a month, a week. A week. Month. It was a month back then. But look here, man, I, I, I learned something when you go in there, you're going to have to know how to fight. you got to know how to protect yourself. you yeah. you got to know how to do all of that because there's people in there that don't care nothing about you. There you go, Pastor. And they will take eating your food. You know what I'm saying? But now they have no commissary. They'll take that. Y'all the kids, when you get home, they'll take something else, too. You know what I'm saying? And you, yeah. up, you come out of that place and come on down there. Is there anybody here know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? You'll come out of that loving another man because they done took your virginity away from you. I, I, I ain't nobody listening on that side. Maybe I, I'm telling you that. Uh, uh, go there if you want to. Thank you all bad. They got some boys in there, man. They got life sentences. And then they'll take your virginity away from you. Huh? Yeah, and then they got penitentiary for girls, too. They'll they take it all away from you. So that's why you see some boys lacking boys. That's why you see some girls lacking girls. You know what I'm saying? They've been in an environment, man. Come on, help me if you can. That will, will change your mindset on what you think about. Ain't nobody. We're listening. You better admit, you know what I'm saying, who you are and ask God to help you to make a change. Not only should you uh, admit, but you, uh, in order for you to stay out of TDC, yeah. you're going to have to behave. behave. Yeah. Right. Right. You can't do whatever you want to do. You can't do it at home. You can't do it at school. Yeah. You can't do it on the streets. I don't care. Not even under the bridge. I tell y'all all the time, there is an order under the bridge. 
You can't go under that bridge and take over under the bridge. You're going to have to go up under somebody. There's somebody in charge of everything that's going on. Yeah, yeah. Come on, help me. Yeah. Go up under that yeah. bridge if you want to and think you're going to just go in there and do it. They're going to send you out there. You need to go out there and make some money. Stand on the corner with a sign and bring that money back. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So so what, what you're doing now, these children, y'all are blessed to have a place to stay. Y'all are blessed to have uh, food to eat. Y'all are blessed to have your own bed to sleep in. Am I making sense here? You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you need to be listening and writing because this thing going to come back on you. And, and then if you don't get it here, you'll get it in your bunk. <laughs> and TV, again, he'll be going to, he said, man, he talked about this one day, but I wasn't listening. And here I am in TDC. And so, uh, in order for you to stay away from TDC, in order for you to stay away from uh, uh, being somebody that you really ain't, you know what I'm saying? You, I'm talking about from being somebody that you, uh, a man like another man. You know what I mean, right? Woman like another woman. Right. See, you, you, you got to, you got to, you got to run from that. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, the devil will put that on you, and then if you ain't careful when you go to TDC, uh, you end up twisting. Careful. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Careful. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, man. You got to fight. Amen. You got to fight to keep your own vagina. Yeah. Uh, so you need to be careful, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, be careful who you socialize with. See, I was a straight-A student, so I ran across one individual in the 11th grade, man. I took me 11, man, 11, man, look at him, man. I ran across this individual, man. He met me. I still remember the day he met me out in the parking lot. And asked me to try this. Man, look at him. Messed me up, man. It messed me up, man, you know what I'm saying? But I thank God for what God done for me. Yes. And, 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 and they still got stuff going on right now. Right. That, that you take one little hit of that, That's it. and it will yeah. mess you up, man, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. never will be the same. You you ain't going to obey your parents, none of that. So you got to be careful who you socialize with. You need to be careful who you uh, sit on side of, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you got to be careful about everything. Amen. Now, I've been watching TV. I've been watching TV, and guess what? They 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 getting on uh, their, their, their brother, man. He had this, they put him out of school. Because of the hell. You know, and I understand why he really gets so mad. You know why? Because it took so long for you to grow that hell. And then, and then, then they don't want to cut it off. Huh? But, but the parent, let him grow the hell. Uh, you know, I mean, you got to obey. Do I have obey? I don't got, no, I ain't got that yet. But you know what I'm saying? You're going to have to obey the rules of the school. Yeah. Or you'll be out of school behind some hell. Yeah. Ain't nobody listening to me up here, man. Yeah. You know what I'm You don't have to get like Jerry, but you know what I'm saying? You can, you can get an eye in the head. You know what I'm saying? Come on, help me if you can. You can get curls. You know they used to call them curls for the, for the girls back then. You know what I'm saying, back in the day. You know what I'm saying? But you, you got to go along with what is going on in the world today. You can't go in there and change and they put that boy out of school. Huh? Something else happened. Well, this bitch just went and knocked on the door looking for his sister. What the man do? He's at the wrong door. He shot me. Guess what? That man, he's not going to jail. He said, I'm scared for my life. That's all they got to say. I'm scared for my life. And they shot that man. You got to train up a child in the way they should go. You got to do it. Who he talking to? He talking to the parents. He talking to the pastor. He talking to the, the leaders. That we got to train these children in the way that they should go. So I am saying she crying and going on once they get up in age. It's too late then. He said, do it while they're young. And some of them children are dying, man. Yeah. I mean, they having funerals. For two. Yeah. And then the parent up here crying and going on, God said, I gave you a thought to over these children. Amen. Oh, you ain't do nothing. You ain't do nothing. You ain't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Now, look here. I, you know, I, I'm bragging because I can brag on my wife. She took care of three children by herself. She went took them to football, everything they need to do. They had to go to school. They had to come home with A's and B's and all that different kind of stuff. And certain people they couldn't hang out with, they thought she was crazy. Amen. But they appreciate her now. Yeah. Come on, help me if you can. So I'm telling you, man, you got to spend some time with these children. You know what I'm saying? You got to watch.
watch the way they dress. You got to watch the people that they hang out with. If I'd have had somebody tell me, look at that, that boy, that ain't no good. Look at I'm on the baseball team throwing a hundred mile of our fastball. You know what I'm saying? I got hooked up with the wrong individual. I should have went and played for the Astro. You can get hooked up with the wrong individual, it'll mess your whole life up, man. I'm trying to help you to get your life back, or uh, not back, but not let it go. You need to live right. The children must submit unto their parents. The parent must have a, a, a way to get authority in the house. Uh, you can't tell them not to smoke, and you smoke it. If I get two or three people just listen to me, you, you, you can't tell them they need to do something that you ain't doing. They'll do it out of anger. Uh, yeah, they do it out of anger, but they won't have no respect for you. And then uh, when they get 16, 15, 16, man, I'm tired of this. Right. Mm -hmm. And they're gone. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, then, then uh, those are, those are those some, some things. I've done three things. Now, the fourth thing, I want you to be a good dreamer, man. Amen. I want you to dream well about things that you want out of life. Huh? Dream about it, you know what I'm saying? Talk about it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, pray about it, but you got to dream. Have yeah, a big dream, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you, 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 you can do it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what's his name, Sylvester? Turner? Yes, sir. He was a black man, Mel. Come on, help me if you can. Yeah. Sheila Jackson Lee, come yeah. on, help me if you can. Look here, uh, she lost, but uh, but but she been she been helping us for a long time. You know what I told my wife? I mean, look, I'm going out here. I'm, I'm going to vote for she. You know, she told me you can't vote for her. I what you mean? I can't vote for her. I vote for whoever I want to vote for. She said, No, you can't. I said, Why I can't vote for she if I want to? Cause you live in spring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you live in spring, man. I'm saying you can't go up there and get your idea. They ain't gonna let you vote. <laughs> Come on, help me if you can. So what I'm saying to you all, everything I'm talking about, that's why you gotta pay. You need to sit down and talk to your children about this. Now these are the things that I came up with. You might use some different words all right. in the alphabet. You know what I'm saying? But your children need to understand what 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 I'm talking about. Yeah. The things that I've got on here will help you 15, 20 years from now. Yeah. Amen. Not only that, you need to enjoy life. Amen. Amen. Huh? Yeah. I'm talking about why I say this for children and adults. Amen. You you need to enjoy life. Yeah. Now you can't enjoy life if you if you owe everybody. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no enjoyment. You get paid. You got to, you got to pay the bills. You got to pay the car note. And you ain't got nothing left. There ain't no enjoyment in that. You mad because you got to go to work. I mean, you just messed up everything. Look at him. Man, I'm, sometimes I'm scared to get on the highway. Everybody blowing at me, uh, telling me to get over, giving me the sign, all that. Because I'm driving the speed limit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I the only one up in here, man, you know what I'm saying, that drive the speed limit and folks yeah. cuss you out? Uh, 
Everybody might laugh at you. See, that's a ride now, rap. rap. But now, uh, when you get old, they're going to wish they were you. You know why I know that? I'm glad y'all that. Because we had some people in school with us, we used to call them square. Yeah. Right. I, I remember that. We yeah. called them square. Now these say, why did Steve Mo might have been a square? You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I, I, I would pray, Lord, please touch quality people. You know what I'm saying? It's the judge. You know what I'm saying? Please, Lord, I ain't gonna do it no more. You know what I'm saying? Please. I'm talking about you got squares that came out of school that got great jobs. That's right. And the ones we thought we was all that, they wouldn't even give us a job. That's why we had to go start selling dope. You're doing this and doing that because we had went the wrong way. It don't make no difference if you're smart and you're late all the time. It don't make no difference if you're smart. And then you come in there and smell it like alcohol. Amen. It don't go together. Amen. I'm trying to help you. I done been through this, man. Like I was making straight A's on the baseball team. Yeah. Amen. They know about me, man. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't even getting a yearbook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went to TDC in 11th grade, man. Huh? But then he said, oh, but I said, but God, you know what I'm saying? God, God picked me up, turned me around, and placed me here at the Mount Gilead Church. Yeah. All right. huh? I'm trying to help somebody here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you need to make sure that your children are, 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 are you know what I'm saying? Like I say, you can change some of these words. Uh -huh. And then you got to be hopeful, you know what I'm saying? Some children are, are, are in houses. The parents are good parents. They just don't have a whole bunch of money. Amen. You know what I'm saying? The money they get, they got to pay bills. They got to do this. They got to do that. But you can be hopeful. You can say, uh, God, please touch my mama. Please, God, touch my dad. You can have hope that, that God is going to come in and he's going to help the family out. When you're hopeful, that means you're going to have to pray about it. You know what I'm saying? Lord, please touch my household. I'm around other children. They got all this. And, and, and we barely make it. You know what I'm saying? That's hope. Huh? But you got good parents. You got good parents that just, uh, I don't know what happened, but every parent don't have what every other parent have. Amen. Huh? And then uh, yeah, me and Carter, we'd get mad. We got mad when we come to school. We said, well, we'll take what we want or we'll, we'll, we'll sell something to try to make ends meet and all that kind of stuff. But y'all y'all ain't got to do that. Amen. You can be hopeful. You, 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 you can ask questions, you know what I'm saying, about, Mama, how come we got to always eat uh, beans and rice? You see, you did, you know, you ask questions, they just pay some little bit, David. You know, mama don't have much here. You know what I'm saying? Well, where dad at? Man, dad, he left. You know what I'm saying? And, and this is all we can afford right now. So that'll cause you to be hopeful. And say, well, man, I hope my mama won't have to work like that all the time. Most times it's your mama doing all that work, man. You know what I'm saying? I say most times. You know what I'm saying? But now, look, I, you know, knock on wood, man, I was out there getting that money. Yeah. I'm, Robert, I'm going to get that money. Come on, help me if you can. I'm working three, four jobs. I, I, I'm going to make sure. That they get the money. Yeah. Not the money, I mean the food. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm gonna get the money, man. I'm gonna get the money. Yeah. And, you know, that's why, you know, man, and sometimes, sometimes I get mad at my children. Yeah. I'm telling you the truth. Because I've done so much, I'm not gonna do nothing for me. Yeah. Huh? I've done a lot, man, but I don't do nothing for me. But I know a man, what's his name? Jesus. Jesus. Huh? Jesus. Yeah. Look here, man, look here. I, you know, I almost told my wife last night, man, I don't even want no birthday party. I don't want no presents. I don't want none of that. Because I, I feel like I ought to get something. You just don't have to wait to be simple to yourself. You know what I'm saying? You come give me $100, man. I didn't even miss it. That months, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> man, keep that money, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I really don't want it. You know what I'm saying? Because, man, I did so much Amen. for my children, man. Yeah. All right. Every last one of them, man. Look here. And then I'm, I'm still paying on, uh, I'm still paying on Leisha's College right now. Is there anybody, nobody listening on that side? I'm still paying for the Leisha's College right now, man. TCU, that's why I go for TCU on football. That's why I go for TCU on everything, because that's where my money be going, man. I don't know nothing to football players. I know I got 
to send me out here to visit a check. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I don't care what they might say. I was a good dad. They say whatever they want to say. They got whooping because they deserve the whooping. Uh, I, I didn't come home and just say, man, you know what? I'm going to whoop the wrong yeah. man. Just for no reason. Man. Now, he had to do something. So they mad. They might be mad at me, man. You know what I'm saying? But I really don't care. I really don't care that you ain't got to give me nothing. You know what I'm saying? For my birthday. Nothing. You ain't got to do nothing. But I know I was a good parent. Amen. I know that. I took care of my wife. I took care of five children, man. So Holly was standing right across the street. She didn't see my wife go get on the bus. Going to work. You know what I'm saying? Huh? She was there every day. Take care of me. I'm going to get that money. I'm going to get that money. Next thing is that, uh, uh, number nine, you need to be independent. Amen. You need to be independent, man. You need to learn how to make you some money. I'm talking to these children right now. You need to learn how to make some money and give it to your mama and tell her to put it up for you. Because every now and then she might have to use some of that money. You, know, you need, don't be dependent on somebody else all the time. Make your own money. Now, you know what I'm saying? Now, you know what I'm saying? I might be wrong. There's no man. Your name, man. Look at I think I, I, I had it now in the church, bro. I think I gave him about $40. Now, I said, man, what you finna do? He tried to get home. You know what he told me he finna do? He finna get a Uber. I said, man, you gonna get a Uber with, with this $40 I just gave you? I said, man, you can walk from the church. <laughs> man, look here. I need to get, a, get on Metro, man. You know what I'm saying? Look here. Before you give an individual fifteen dollars, man, to take you from Cadillac Street down to what? Breathe that little flow. Now, look here. Yeah, look what I'm trying to tell you. He going from Cadillac to Dreyfus, man. Oh, oh. Or down there the Reed Road. Man, we used to run that, man. What you talking about, man? You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you talking about, man. We we run from here. Uh, is there anybody here understand what I'm talking about? That back in the day, man, when we 16, 17, man, I'm running for five laps, man. Huh? Before I give you twenty dollars, somebody just gave me forty. I'm gonna give the twenty. Somebody else a twenty. I said, man, now you ain't been calling no hoop. I said, man, get on the bus so you can walk. Dollar twenty five. Yeah, man, say that money, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell you, show you all how to get these children to think. Yeah. Uh, now you don't give them man. Forget over, man. Put your thumb out, do something, man. You know what I'm saying? Look here, man. You gonna keep the twenty in your pocket, man. They ain't listening on that side, bro. Right? <laughs> I'm talking about, man. Keep that twenty dollars in your pocket. Either walk, get on the bus. Huh? And then if you play a role, it bust might even let you drive ride free. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but don't get the money up. Right. Next thing. Look here. And then you need to be joyful. Yeah. And that's why I got on here. That's why I got right here. That when I do this, y'all got, got to look at this here. Y'all see that? Well, I'm, I'm wiping right there. Y'all see how I look now? I'm watching this. <laughs> you see? Wow. Wow. Don't frown. <laughs> the thing that came up. They come when you frown. See, the more you frown, uh, you ain't gonna cause wrinkles to come on your face, man. I'm telling you, my mama used to tell me that, but I wasn't listening, man. Look here, if you smile more, you might have a couple of laughs. But they smile, they smile. But frowning is different, man. Huh? Yeah, I'm trying to help you. You know what I'm saying? Look, 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 look. You, 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 you can be 60 years old with all you say. I got some wrinkles, man. Man, I done done everything. I done bought wrinkle removal. You know what I'm saying? I done put stuff on here and all that, man. You know what I'm saying? Even Lisa done bought me some stuff. You know what I'm saying? That stuff wrinkles still out, man. You know what I'm saying? They ain't going nowhere, man. I'm trying to help you all to still look good when you're 70 years old if you make it down. I'm trying to help you to, to, to understand your mama. Most of you all got mamas that, that's doing all of the work, man. And I want you to understand that you need to be by your mother's side, man. Am I making sense? I say you need to do everything you can.
for your mama, man. Uh, I ain't studying daddy right now. Look here. Uh, do everything for your mama right now, man. You know what I'm saying? Look here. They got a hard job. I'm telling you. They got to go to work. They got to come on and cook. They got to clean up. They got to deal with the hard-headed men. Come on, help me if you can. nothing else about that. But I've seen him. He do what he can for his mom. Huh? Am I making sense up in here? Okay. So, so, so. Don't leave you out there saying we won't, we, we won't get to the daddy, you know what I'm saying? But, man, the mama most of the time. Yeah. Right. Sometimes it ain't all about money. That mama pick you in the arms and hold you tight and cry with you and all that different kind of stuff. Daddy gonna make a man out of you, you know what I'm saying? Boy, you gonna be running out here with them tears, you know what I'm saying, all that. But that mama got the tender, loving tail. Yeah, daddy, you know what I'm saying? Almost all daddies get the bad rap, man. Amen. You know, I'm to it, talking about that. I can't help you, man, you know what I'm saying? I can't help you because I couldn't help myself, man, you know what I'm saying? Most daddies will get the bad rap. Unless you're an extra extraordinary type daddy. Uh, yeah. And then the next thing I'm talking about, you got to be, that you said H and, and uh, K. Uh, the song says you got to be humble and kind. Amen. Uh, you got to be humble and kind. Humble is that, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 you got values. Yeah. And then you kind to people. You humble. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you got values. Yeah. And then you kind of people. You, you learn how to say yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes ma'am. Yes. Uh, Humble and kind, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what, wherever you at, you're going to be different. You know what I'm saying? When people look at you, they'll look at you differently. Sometimes people will give you a job just because of the way you look. Huh? Might not know nothing about the job, but they, they, they'll take a chance with you. So I'm telling you, I, the reason I'm telling you this is because I've been through this. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be every time you frown, you know what I'm saying? You all up, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm trying to help you. Guess what else? Look here. Uh, not only should you be on the time, you need to be loving. Yeah. Amen. Hmm? Thank you. you need to be loving, man. You need to love your mama, love your daddy, even yeah. if you ain't there. Mm -hmm. you gotta, I know that's hard. That's hard for now. But you still got to love him. Because it was, uh, he, he, he got some of your blood. Yeah. Amen. You got some of his I'm blood. You. you know what I'm saying? I don't know what happened. But he still. Your daddy. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Take care of your mama first, though. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I ain't studying reps, dude. I ain't studying <laughs> <laughs> Look here. Look here. Most of us men, we're going to take care of mama. Yeah. We'll get daddy some every now and then. But we're going to make sure mama got what she needs. Come on, help me if you can. Yeah. Watch this here. Uh, then you need to be mindful. Why is that mindful? Because it was mama. That laid in the bed with you and put that big ass on you, rub you all on your chest and all that different kind of stuff. It was your mama that prayed for you. It was your mama that was at school events and all that. It was your mama that cooked for you and all that different kind of stuff. It was your mama that did a whole bunch of stuff that daddy might have gave the money, but mama was taking care of it. Always respect your parents. But look at you let nobody go tell you nothing about your mama. Uh, like they call that playing a dozen, man. You can mess with my mama, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm going to kill you behind my mama, man. I don't care what she's doing. Amen. You say amen on that one. Oh, yeah. You say amen on that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, Rip Carl, man, him and Art, man, they'll kill you. Uh, and then Briscoe say he'll kill you. Uh, uh, and, and throw you in the middle of the road like a dead skunk. And then kill you again. Huh? Man, there's certain things that you don't want to do. Huh? Mess with kid folks, see what happens. <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah, man. Look here. You know, Sister Jones and Sister Annie Evans, man, I've met man, this bitch will kill you over them women, man. You can't do it. I'm trying to help somebody. Watch what it is. Watch this here. Watch this here. Y'all, y'all see this number neat, that, that 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 number in? You got to be neat. How do your room look right now? <laughs> uh, I'm talking about these children. Do you have a room? 
How does your room look right now? Ain't hey, nobody raise their hand. I ain't gonna raise it. <laughs> you right. Oh, that's right. He, he, he raised his hand. You right. All right. You right. Huh? All right. You need to be neat. Tell me, man, how your car look? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go check the parking lot. Oh. <laughs> Look here, let me ask you something else. How do your money look? Is your money? Huh? Is your money? How your money look? Is it neat? That's folded. Nice and neat. Huh? How your money look? Or is it ball up in your pocket? Huh? Yeah, you need you need to be neat in everything you do. You know what I'm saying? And and, and, and guess what? Y'all see, that's neat, baby. Mine wasn't almost, it wasn't all like that at first. Mine was like this. All right. You see that? Hers is like that. I said, okay, I'll take that. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's neatly. Yeah. You got a line that you can write on. Uh, Come on, help me if you can. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You got to admit when you uh, get some good information. Yeah. Yeah. So I want you to, to be uh, mindful of the things I'm telling you. You got to be neatly, man. And then you got to learn how to obey. Amen. Huh? And then I thought, I thought about it, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I thought about when I said obey? What's that? School. Oh, yeah. Amen. That's right. Huh? The folks now, they told you, they told you, you come down with that, with that long hair if, if you want to. Some of these schools, man, they say, man, you can't come in here with that long hair like that if you're a boy. Huh? So what you gonna do? What you gonna do? You'll be walking around talking about like a uh, a uh, 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 Bill, Bill say, can't nobody tell me nothing. I do whatever I want to do. I say, yeah, you sure can. You can't do it here. Huh? You sure can do whatever you want to do, but you can't do it here. So now, uh, it's gonna take you four or five years to grow that that hair like that, and then you have to cut it off. Ain't nobody listening. Ain't nobody listening. Your family. Oh, uh, that boy have to cut that hair off, man. You know what I'm saying? So why you why you messing with him right now? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If you gonna do an afro, you do the uh, halfway afro and get it trimmed, you know, and then it edged right. You know what I'm saying? Now, you still look good. That's what we did back in the day. We ran an afro, okay, yeah. huh? But we had them trim right, and you got to be neatly. Or you set these children up for a fall, man. I'm telling you, some of these schools you can do. But if you know that your school has huh, some, some, some dress code behind your hat, why you let the man uh, uh, wear a hat now? Because you're going to have to cut it out. Or you're going to put him out of school. Amen. Am I making any sense here, Sister Ruth? I'm trying to tell you certain things that we can't do. That's what uh, the law is for. Uh, as it is written. That was the law of God. And, and, and as it is written, the law of God, the, 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 the word of God say, train up a child. Yeah. A child. They say train no teenager. They say train up a child in the way they should go. When they become a teenager, <coughs> they'll remember some of that stuff, man. Amen. Huh? Guess what else? Y'all got to learn how to pray. Amen. Mm. You need to go on your knees at night and talk to the Lord. Don't you know God loves to hear the prayer yes, he does. of children? Yes. Oh, yes. Huh? Yes. He says, suffer the little children. You know what I'm Man, God will listen to them children's prayer. So every chance you get, get on your knees and pray. Amen. Tell God about what you want. I ain't gonna think nobody listen, bro. Amen. Uh, well, they listen or they write. I'm trying to get you to understand. You got some of these adults here need to start praying. Amen. Uh, there's some stuff you need too. Yeah. God say, I need you to start praying. Give me a talk to me. He yeah. already know it, you know what I'm saying? But you got to talk to me. I mean, I gave an illustration once. You know what I'm saying? Why? Why would uh, 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 Abraham? Uh, uh, come and ask me for some money. Ooh, and he got a dad. Right. That's rich. 
I'm just making an example. I'm making an example here. I'm just I'm trying to say. Why would you ask me and your daddy got a whole bunch of money? Why are you going to ask your dad? Because relationship ain't there. I mean, your, your daddy can help you with a whole bunch of stuff because he's your dad. And he loves you, so you go ask your daddy. Get your relationship. If you and your dad don't have no relationship, you need to get a relationship with him. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. And guess what else? Every now and then you got to be quiet. Just shut your mouth. If mama say something, don't talk back. I don't mean, know. Is there anybody beside me who got to get in the mouth? Let's do it. He raised his hand now. You got to hit the mouth too. You know what I'm saying? Look here. When your mama say something, you still run in your mouth. Bang! Now they'll slap you in the mouth. Daddy'll knock the teeth out. Uh, man, ain't nothing changed. These children are these parents the same way. Huh? She over here looking at me. She must know I'm finna talk about her. You know what I'm saying? Well, she's dangerous. She is dangerous with these two. Man, you mess up if you want. You mess up if you want, you know what I'm saying? That's what I mean. Don't you see her walk out here with them children? Man, they're gonna be home, man. They're gonna be home, man. I seen her one day, Rev. I'm telling you, Rev. Uh, uh, they wasn't in church. And she said, What? Where they at? I said, I don't know. She got on that phone. I'm here right now. Ten minutes later, we're about to in the church, man. So now I'm gonna be playing, man. Huh? No, he, uh, Priscilla say no. How she know, sister? I'm gonna be playing, right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, you, you got to be a parent that have the man respect. And the children might not like it then, but they'll love it when they get old. Uh, they'll love it when they get old, man. Always be a parent of uh, respect. You know what I'm saying? And then, uh, I need you to be real. Be real. Huh? You need to be real. Uh, don't be no fake. Amen. Be real. If you love the Lord, love the Lord. I don't care what nobody else do. You be real about who you are. Yeah. Amen. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Look at him. I know I'm a little crazy. I already know. You ain't got to tell me. I'm a little half crazy, man. But I'm real with it. Yeah. I'm real. I'm real, man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no fake about food. What you see is what you're going to get. You know what I'm saying? You know, look, there's certain things that you just can't do around me, man. I don't care who you is. Huh? Because I'm real. I'm real. And then you have to be uh, a saint. Man. It's just right for us to teach our children well, to be well, saints of God. Yes. I don't care what the world is doing. You need to teach your children to be a saint. Amen. How do you teach the child to be a saint? You know what? Look at him, You know, I'm really, I'm really hurt. Amen. I am really hurt. You know, you know what I'm saying? Do y'all love to see me hurt? Who said that for you, Rob? Who said that? So Chad said he Rob. She said Rob said. It. But look here. Uh, you know I'm hurt. I'm saying I'm hurt behind Rob since he said it first. I'm hurt behind Pat. I'm hurt behind all. Matter of fact, I tell you I just raised it up. I'm hurt. I'm behind everybody. That will not attempt to learn the full spirit of the law. And then I'm going to give you $100. But won't nobody take the time to learn God's word for $100. But now, if, if, I, if I tell us, if you can tell me the football schedule for the Houston Texans, the Houston Cougars, University of Texas. If you give me a hundred dollars, I'll give you a hundred dollars. You know, I, I, I'll tell you right now. Uh -huh. But I'm trying to get somebody to learn about the individual that hung, bled, and died for you. 
Huh? And I'm going to pay you $100. Little bitty will not even pick it up. Huh? They won't even pick it up and say, man, I'm going to try to learn this thing. Look here. I, I, didn't, I didn't learn it right off the top. I had to walk around with it, man. You know what I'm saying? And I had to keep on going over and over and over and over until I learned it, man. Because my pastor told me when I came up in his office, I want you to learn the full spiritual laws. And because I was serious, I learned the full spiritual laws. And then you know what the trick is? The trick is that even if you learn them, you're going to have to get somebody to hear you say them. Huh? To make sure, because I ain't going to get a hundred if you miss two or three laws. So you're going to go over there, you're going to tell somebody, man, man, uh, read this while I go these folks picture off. So what, what's going to happen is two people going to get the folks picture off. How, 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 how fruitful is this for a family? The goal was supposed to be a spiritual law. And then you can get paid a hundred dollars. Does that make it? I just don't understand it. I said, man, I'm giving a hundred dollars away. I'm doing it. I'm giving it away. One hundred dollars for anybody that will learn the full spiritual law. Huh? I think it's four laws, about ten or eleven verses. Huh? You can't learn that. I'm talking this for the Lord. Amen. And the Lord gonna give you a hundred. Mm. Ain't nobody come up to me and give me a book. Mm. They don't want they they scared. They scared. I wonder if they scared because they don't want to be embarrassed to get up there and then miss two or three scriptures because you know Christ ain't gonna give you nothing. Mm. Huh? Mm. But look here, man, that's why that's why I'm gonna get somebody else involved. Yeah, yeah. I mean I'm gonna go over them, go over them, go over it. And then when I came, my pastor said, Pastor Webb, I got these four spiritual laws. He said, all right, brother, let me hear it. I went through them, man. Huh? Because I was serious about God. And then God will not accept suffering for nothing that you do. Uh, you do it on your job while you can't do this. I, I, I didn't want. I didn't want. I didn't want. I didn't want. Why? Why is it that I'm not giving away a hundred dollars every week? Why am I keeping this hundred dollars in my pocket week after week after week? Don't nobody want the money. No. No. So uh, next thing. What? What am I on now? Nineteen. Nineteen. No, I'm on number 20. Yeah. Guess what? How many people came here late? All right. Huh? A lot of people. A lot of people came in late. Came in late. Came in late. You know what I'm saying? Why is it? You know what I'm saying? I'm asking these questions. I'm asking these questions. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really want to know. I really want to know. Why is it that we do God any kind of way? But on your job. You gonna run over everybody like me trying to get there on time. I said, man, what's wrong? All these people, choom, 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 choom. They trying to get there. But when it comes to the law, man, I'm talking about the one who died. Y'all, 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 what I'm saying? He died. Uh, didn't he die? You know what I'm saying? Look here. I said, it was early. But you come late. I want, I want why we do God any kind of. Way, man. We we do we do God any kind of way. He said, well, uh, look at look at if you if you know how to holler and, and, and do that thing right, man, folks will get all up and say, Yeah, preach for you don't you don't have to be saying nothing, all you gotta do is uh, 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 get up start coming, yeah. Uh, but I'm trying, I'm trying to get folks, man. Uh, the God said that I want to be first in your life. Huh? Now look here. I'm, I'm gonna give. What's that man name? What's that boy? What's that boy name? You know, I keep forgetting that name, bro. There you go, right there. What's your name? Roger. Roger. I'm talking. I'm, 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 I'm Roger Tut. If I take about think about Tut, I think about you. 
Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Oh. You know, you know I'm, I ain't got nobody else. Rebel, will you help me? You know, I used to call P. Ride. But, man, I went off and left my wife. Don't hit it, I went off and left her, man, you know what I'm saying? I left her. Man, I'm not waiting on you no longer, man. You know what I'm saying? You can change dresses three times, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, Pastor West said we need to be on time, man. Okay, well, let me change this here. Man, you know what I did? I went off and left that house. You know what she did? Caught a cab. Came to church. Came in. I was sitting in the audience. She's in the choir. <laughs> All in the choir. She's in the choir. <laughs> so yeah, that man was mad at me, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I went off and left her, man. I said, man, look here. I ain't let the lip pass away to get on me behind her. I see the chain dressing three times, man. Left my mother left, man. Guess what? I ain't have to do that no more. I ain't have to do that no more. And then she got me. She got me. Because I wanted to, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I, I, you know, I, 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 I was still sitting there, though. The dime is dead. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and Joe Hustle, he came by the house, man, to pick my wife up for Bible study. Man. I said, where you going to go? He said, I'm going to Bible study. I said, and, 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 and she left in the car with Joe Hustle. I said, oh, man. <laughs> hey, look here. I ain't never have them again. I ain't never again. No, again. I ain't gonna let nobody else take my wife to church, man. I was jealous, man. Uh, so things happen, man. All things work together for the good. Those who love the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? So I said, man, I'm going to Bible study too. Or you know, I'm gonna take her, drop her off, and pick her up. They want to wait on this dope, man. I'm going, man. I ain't gonna let nobody come pick my wife up. Huh? Right. Yeah. So, guess what? What else I'm at? Where I'm at now? 21? Number, six. Number 21, you got to be you. Huh? You know, I like old Rodney. He, he just you. I mean, that's who you see. He ain't trying to be like nobody. He just straight up. And, and, uh, he's a gangster, too, real. Military man. He don't act like it, but he's a gangster. <laughs> Just mess with stars, see what happens. Yeah. He knows some stuff. Yeah, he does. Man, that man military, man. Oh, yeah, go there and mess with stars one of them children, see what happens. Military skills. Huh? That man with man, he might know how to put a chokehold on your head back. You never know. You got to watch it a bit like that. Look here. And then I want you to be visible in church and in school. Huh? When you're in school, you need to be somebody in school. Amen. The teacher needs to brag on you about something, about your work, about how you put the work in order. You know what I'm saying? On your job, they need to say, man, look, I'm really proud of the way you did this. You, know, you got to be visible. You don't want to be no hit of it just sitting all around doing nothing. Because when the when it's time for a cut, who they going to keep? The individual that's visible, always doing his, doing his job. Let them other individuals go. Watch this here. And then you need to have white wisdom. Huh? Yes, sir. And then on 24, you got to be X. Y'all remember Malcolm X? Just before it took it off. Yeah. She just put X on there. Nah, what, what, what is that? It's on there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Malcolm is on there. Oh, I, got, I ain't got no problem with it. You know Look at She Malcolm X. Malcolm X is different. Huh? So you need to be different. Am I making sense here? You need to be a different type of individual. They need to know it's something different Amen. about you. Uh -huh. And guess what? If you're an adult, your children are watching you. Yeah. yeah. And they don't want to be different. No, most times the, the child follow after the parents. Uh, what they see is what they're going to get. I mean, what they, they want to be. Uh -huh. How 
you think the wrong guy in the real estate, Erica? Right. Right. Who worked for Bremer King? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but did he ever work there? No. No. He got that for me, Jerry. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to turn him on this all this money. He ain't give me nothing. Yeah. <laughs> wow. um, I tell him on all this money, man. You know what I'm saying? How you think? Uh, what do you think? Quincy know how to cut grass better than Rip Carter? Good. Huh? Came for me, man. You know what I'm saying? Huh? How you think Ben know how to drive up an 18 wheeler and back that rifle in there the first time? Came from his dad. Huh? Yeah. Why you think Quincy Alicia didn't come up with no baby? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm because you know I'm going to have killed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have killed. Huh? Well, that's, that's why I can make out hugs every day. Every time they came home, I was hugging. Looking for passion marks on that side, hug on this side, passion marks on that side. And then I'm, I'm, I'm looking and smelling. <laughs> At the same time, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I wanted them to me. When I gave them, I gave JW one. Uh -huh. Good girl. Then I gave Quan one. Right. Good girl. Huh? Yeah. Because I wanted them to be raised right. They can't blame me for nothing. Amen. All right then. All right. And watch to them. Young. Be glad while you're young. Amen. Uh, be glad while you're young, man. Take advantage of that. Because one of these days you don't have no option. You're going to have to get up and go to work. Mm -hmm. Look here. Uh, it, it, and I got on my paper, even when you start getting old, uh -huh. you can still walk around like me, you know what I'm saying? Cool at 60. <laughs> <laughs> uh, still at 60, man. Still cool. Still try to get clean, you know what I'm saying? Still do a little joking every now and then, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, if you ain't, if you ain't careful on basketball court with some boxing gloves, I might knock you out. Oh Lord! Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you ain't careful, I'm saying now, you got to be careful. You just ain't gonna just, just do me no any kind of way. You might lose fight, uh, and then we go on the court, John. You probably gonna lose the game. Am I making sense here? So if you, even if you get old, you still can be young minded. Yeah. Uh, and act like you are somebody. I'll be able to do it though. That thing with lifting up coolers. <laughs> man, man, I think you know we we been having somebody in the, in, in the fellowship hall. The cooler was full of ice. Then we put all the soda water in the cooler. Okay. You know all that different kind of stuff. And I tried to pick it up. I couldn't lift it because we're gonna go to the park with it. He said, "Get out of the way, pal." That man ran down there, grabbed that, walk and walk with it. That wasn't nothing. Put it on the truck. I say, man. I'm telling you, you don't want to, you can't let it grab. So if I'm going to fight him, I have to walk and jump. Walk and weave on him. Walk and weave on him. Trying to get him tired. I'm just going to if, if, if he touch you, that's it. If he grab on to you, it's over. Amen. And then I want you to have a zeal. For whatever you do, I hope it ain't wrong. But I'm hoping that you have a zeal. And I think somewhere I say according to knowledge. Yeah. Amen. Uh, you need to learn about anything that you uh, participate in. You need to learn. That's why on my wall, Dr. Rose came over there and said, man, you got your, you got certificates on the wrong side. He said, your certificates supposed to always go behind your chair. I got six certificates in there. Mm -hmm. All the way up to a master of divinity. I was craving the battle. I said, man, I ain't gonna quit. I wanted it. I wanted it. And, and, and all these children, I mean, you got to finish school. Yeah. And you don't, you when you finish high school, you ain't done nothing. Yeah, yeah, Amen. you gotta upgrade. Man, you ain't done nothing, you gotta go to college. Yeah. Huh? You got to leave go. Man, look, when, when, when Lisa, I'm still paying on this, I'm still paying on this. When she, when she went and signed for the job and had on there, she finished from TCU. Man, they went on to another level. Man, they had to pay up. Huh? They had to pay up. When you get another degree, the degree, they got to pay you, man. Amen. So 
some more people don't stop me. It's just high school. I want you to go to college. Even if you can't afford TCU, you can go to Houston Community College. Yeah. Huh? You got to learn how to keep moving up. Because when you don't move, two things going to happen. Two, maybe three. I'm done. I'm done. Either you're going to get on dope, start doing stuff you ain't got no business. Then you might have to marry a, a dude that really don't love you. Huh? And, and then, you know, he just using you and you know, all that different kind of stuff. Or you gonna have to work two jobs. Amen. Trying to take care of your family. Huh? And you don't want to do none of that. I'm giving you some good information. You know what I'm saying? You 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 got to you saying you got you got time. You got you man. Look at old Shannon over there. You know what I'm saying? She just quiet over there. She she HR manager, man. Hmm? She can fire you. But start, you know she's HR. That shit over there, that's she though. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. Talking a lot, man. And, and, and you know she's HR. Amen. Amen. I'm done here, but you know what? Now, 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 I had to mess with my wife one time. You know, because she HR, she run the whole company. <laughs> you know what I told her? <laughs> yeah, do you know what I told her one day? I man, I don't work for you. <laughs> I come now, man. I work for you. Huh? But she run that company, man. Yeah, she run that company. And she didn't start there. She started at Coca Cola. But she worked her way up, man. And, and she got over there. Oh, it wasn't called did it, did. it was called something else. I can't think of the name of it. But she, boom, Fox. It was Fox, man. She worked, man. Look at her. Sometimes she takes me to her job. We just walk around, folks. How you doing, Miss Ford? She get respect, man, when she walk in that building. Even if she don't have a badge, they, they know her. They were on the gate. Huh? So what I'm trying to tell you, man, don't celebrate for where you at. You can start learning. How do you think Barack Obama ended up being president, man? He started learning in school. Huh? Y'all got, got opportunities now. You don't have to cut all your hair off, but you got you to make it look presentable. Amen. Huh? Until you get the job. Then you wear hair like you want to. But if they got rules, you got to abide by the rules, man. Huh? And then when y'all get when y'all get to start making that money, come down and see pass, man. Drop off some of that money, man. <laughs> I'm talking to my two girls, you know what I'm saying? Man, y'all need to start bringing past some of that money, man, when y'all start making money. Uh, I'm talking to my twins. Y'all start bringing, y'all remember all them, them, you know, y'all need to start putting something in my pocket, man, you know what I'm saying, when y'all get up in age. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I've been, I've been faithful, bro. I've been faithful. Eric was saying, man, I stayed with us. I had you. Huh? So did, man, you know what I'm saying? That's a long way, though. <laughs> you know, I be driving way over there, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I just hope, you know what I'm saying, that, that I can stay in pretty good shape. Amen. Amen. I don't care who you stand with. Amen. You'll never feel comfortable staying with somebody else. You always want to stay at your own house. Amen. Huh? Yes. 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 Yeah. But I am, I mean, I am so proud of my wife. She don't talk to us, man. She 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 done her thing with her three boys. Amen. Can you imagine your son being on TV, catch, catching the opening kick from the Super Bowl game? Finally, Wilder. Uh, last week he was on Channel Twenty Six. Finally, Wilder. When you go to Prairie Land, they know about it. They got his name. They got shirts all in the restaurants. That's our son. But she made sure they went to church All right. first. Mm -hmm. Then they can go to practice. Yeah. You couldn't come in with no D's and L's. A little old shot rifle, but they tell me she, even the draw, the big one, the big one. Because he was checking me out when I first met his mother. Me and him started going crazy together, you know what I'm saying? After I was all right, he ain't messing with me no more. He said, yeah, he all right. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> but look at him. He even said, man, that little rascal, that man, she would go off. All right. 
she'll go off, man. But you got to be that kind of mother. Those children, y'all are responsible for these children, man. You can't let them live no any kind of way because God don't want to talk to you first. He won't talk to you. Huh? So that is the lesson for the day. If you're here today, look at it. And you got something from the lesson, I want you to to stand on your feet, man, just, uh, just give a shout out, or, or if you're here today and you, you you need salvation, I want you to come down the aisle. If you're here today and you want uh, membership, I want you to come down the aisle. I hope that somebody heard something that will help them along the way. Amen. 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 Maybe one, maybe one. When you come. Amen. Can you? Just one, maybe one. You need, might need prep. If that's you, when you come. If you want a full spiritual law book. <laughs> it's hard to come. learn. You want, <laughs> you want a full spiritual law book? Anybody ever want a full spiritual law book? Or you be coming up for something? Huh? Well, look here, you know what I'm in my office? Get them brand new full spiritual law books. We got time. No, Briscoe got to get them. Oh, Briscoe got to get them. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Does anybody here want full spiritual law books? Anybody? Anybody want one? Okay, good. Yeah, man. Uh, if there's anybody here need prayer, I want you to come. Name you know what I'm saying? It, from everybody here are members already. So I, I, I want you to come. If you just want prayer or if you need help with some things, I want you to come.
Amen. 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 I think that's on me. I'm supposed to be buying an amp, don't I? Give me that information. I need to get that amp. I hate for God's uh, stuff to mess up. Yeah, I hate huh? I'm going to go. I'm going to buy it. i get the money back from Carl. I'm going to buy it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. I, that's what you feel like that. You know, go ahead and buy it, man. We're going to get your money back. Yeah. But uh, I'll pull that ball big bind out. Give me the information on the amp. Well, I can go get it. Amen. Yeah. We don't want God. So if I radio in our car, man, so what we going to do, right? I'm going to do the same way. I'm telling you what I'm going to do. All right, man. Amen. Church family, we have a relation who's coming to ask him for prayer. Daniel and Haley are coming to ask him for prayer. And Sister Tyra is coming to ask him for prayer. And Sister Brian is supporting Well, thank you. You're in the right place. Amen. You're in the right place. Amen. We don't need to know what it is, but we just want God to. To meet you where you are. Amen. Because he knows what's on your heart and on your mind. The love nation will pray. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to pray for everybody. Amen. I want you to know that God has heard your cry. Uh, he may not come when he wants, and you want it, but he's always on time. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. Love of our gracious Father, Lord, we come now. In the wonderful and precious name of your daughter and son, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for your word on the day. We thank you, Lord, for these children that have come up. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the adults that have come up. We thank you, Lord, for our soul and the revelation of the Lord. We ask you to touch them all in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, give them the desire of their heart, Lord. Give them another testimony, Lord, that they can say that they came, and Lord, you heard and you answered their prayer. Lord, please touch right now. Touch the people, Lord, that are watching and that are Lord. And get off the bed and come in the, in the house of the Lord. Lord, if they're able, the Lord, to come and, and serve you in person, the Lord. Lord, they go in the way else. So help them, Lord, to come back to the house of the Lord. We understand it, Lord, that it was a time, but now people are going everywhere they want to go. So please, Lord, bring them back into the house of the Lord. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. And thank God. Blessed be the name of the Lord.
Any recognitions from your school activities or anything that you've done, your report card? Yeah, we'll pray. 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 Yeah, we'll